What's going on guys, GeoSnowRage here, so in today's video we're going to have a little bit more retro tech video than usual and this one is going to be about the iPhone 4, the 3GS, 3G and so on and how to get them in the pound DFU mode in order to restore custom made firewalls on them or to jailbreak them and so on. And the reason I'm making this video is that a lot of the tools that were available back in the days when the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4 were up to date and were, you know, the latest and greatest are no longer working on newer macOS versions, like in my case, macOS High Sierra or Sierra, or even El Capitan. So, uh, if you have an old device and you want to jailbreak it or restore a custom made firmware on a Mac, you might not be in luck because most of the tools are giving errors and so on. And I'm going to give you an example. We have the Red Snow, which has been a pretty important tool back in the days, and um, this tool is like six years old by now, and yeah, it says in here connected iPhone 3GS in the FU mode. Now, the reason I uh, made this video actually is that uh, I ended up in a problem myself. I have an iPhone 3GS in here that I tried to create a custom made firmware for and uh, to get it activated. And the reason for that is that I do not have the original SIM card to which it's locked. And I wanted to jailbreak this device and, you know, just play around with it and I couldn't get past the activation or iTunes screen. So I could use a custom-made firmware created with Snowbreeze in order to circumvent that. But unfortunately, in order to restore a custom-made firmware, you need a pound DFU mode. And uh, to get in a pound DFU mode, you need to use a tool like Red Snow. But Red Snow would not work at all. I tried on iPhone 4, 3GS, 3G. It simply wouldn't put any device on pound DFU mode by now. It's probably a, a um, connection error with the drivers or frameworks used inside Red Snow because they are very old. As I said, this program is like six years old by now and it's probably not going along too well with the changes that were made during the years in the Mac OS. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I downgrade to like Mavericks or even lower, it would probably work perfectly fine. But on newer Mac OS, there is absolutely no tool that currently works. Or is it? So if I go here to pound DFU mode, it's going to say exploiting with Limerain and so on, and it appears to be working, but it's not. It's going to get stuck at that point in there, and it's going to return either USB connection problem, or it's going to simply say exploit failed, as you can see in this case. So if you can't get it into the pound DFU mode, you're not able to um, restore with custom SHSH to downgrade your old iPhone, or to use a custom made firmware, to activate it or to even jailbreak it. In order to jailbreak it, you need to use, of course, the uh, Limerain exploit, which is not working. You can see it's simply not identifying the device, or if it does identify the device at some point, it's going to say USB communication problem. And this is something that any version of Red Snow I have tried on a modern macOS version would do. So, um, a couple days ago, um, Jonathan Seals, the developer behind Cool Booter, has pointed out to me uh, this tool in here, I found the FU created by Axiomex. So huge shoutouts to Jonathan Seals for that. And um, if we download this tool, it's apparently a modern tool for pounding older devices, which is so cool. Now you're going to tell me who the hell still cares about the iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4. Well, people like me who want to tamper with the device or want to jailbreak it and explore it and do stuff with older devices and play around might care about that. So just because you're using the latest and greatest, you can't use a vintage device and just play around with it. So you just need to go ahead and here on GitHub, download it, and um, you will end up with a zip that you will, um, you will unzip and you will get a couple folders and files in here. So um, I pound DFU is pretty much a uh, new take to an older system or to an older uh, method of exploiting, which is Lime Rain and many other exploits, into a modern uh, and working tool, which is this one in here. It also contains the Allocate, which is an exploit created by Axiom X for the 3GS, but we're going to be uh, interested in just putting the device in pound DFU mode to be able to restore custom made farmers and so on. So let me show you how you use it though. Go to terminal in here and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, sorry, bigger and the bigger and bigger a couple times so that you can see what I'm trying to write in here. Okay, that would do. And now we need to cd into this folder in here uh, that we extracted and we're going to run dot slash uh, ipound dfu. 
like this. And these are the commands that are supported by this program. It's a very, very powerful program. Uh, props to Axiom X for creating it and caring about the older devices. Because, you know, if it wasn't for this program, there would be literally no way to get it into the pound DFU mode the easy way on newer macOS versions. So, um, pretty much what we're interested in is the um, dash P, which says USB exploit for pound DFU mode. Then you have install allocate, which is an exploit created by Axiom X to NOR, send file to device in DFU mode, and some advanced commands for, you know, dumping the boot room, for flashing various stuff, uh, 24 key pound exploit, and decrypting, encrypting with the GAD key, and so on. You're probably not interested in these for the moment, but in order to put it in the pound DFU mode, we just need to run the same command, um, dot slash I pound DFU, uh, dash P. But now I'm going to uh, reboot my device and put it again in uh, DFU mode because I think Red Snow has messed up a bit the, um, the DFU mode and it might not recognize it properly. So bear with me while I uh, try to reconnect it. So, uh, now the device is connected in DFU mode and I'm going to run the command. Okay. Okay, it says now device is now in pound DFU mode. So now that we are in DFU mode, we're pretty much able to try to restore a custom made farm or, or to do whatever we want to do because we're in the um, exploit mode. So now if you open Red Snow, it's going to show up in DFU mode, but the device is in pound DFU mode. So that's how you do it on modern devices. As you can see, it worked from the first time in here with no errors and no problems, while in Red Snow, it simply wouldn't go. It would say, USB error or exploit failed or whatever. So yeah, just go ahead and download it. It's going to be available in the description down below. It's a pretty, pretty interesting tool. And uh, I'm pretty sure it has more than that as functionality. And um, it's a pretty complex tool, but I didn't have enough time to like explore it to give you an exact idea on what it can do. But it's definitely very powerful, way more powerful than just putting the device in pound DFU mode. But anyways, it's very good for that. So uh, check it out in the description down below. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare and their program Dr. Phone, which helps you keep your iOS device in shape. It helps you to recover lost and deleted data, to transfer data between iOS and Android, to even backup and restore and repair your system if you get any errors, or erase it should you want to give it away or to sell it without worrying about people being able to get your data back and, you know, take a look at it. You can check it out in the description down below. It provides free trial for their tools. And if you decide to purchase it, you have in the description down below a $5 coupon. So check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this guide helped you, or at least uh, the people who do have older iOS devices like the 3GS, iPhone 4, 3G, and 2G, and so on. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm GS Snow. Peace out.